from gardening to animals to extreme renovations. Welcome to Homesteading at College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today we're building a stand to do our plants in. Today we're doing a follow-up to our germination video and uh, we're building a table, a work table, here in the basement to set our plants on. Now what does the table have to do? Well it has to hold eight of these trays and six fluorescent or LED lights. And I'll explain about the lights in the next video. Uh, so I've got to build something that's going to do this, but I hate to do things like this if I'm building something permanent, but this is not going to be permanent. Hopefully, we're going to have uh, our greenhouse done before we have to do this again, and all this will be in the greenhouse. So any construction I do here, I want it to fit in the greenhouse as well. Now here in our basement, these pipes here are to our furnace, and of course they're five foot four inches tall and I'm five foot eight, so there's probably gonna be some head knocking while we do this. But yesterday I went out in the workshop and cut out uh, the boards. I used, just used uh, two by threes, some old two by threes I had laying around, and uh, some uh, fence fence pickets. So not the little thin ones, but the wide, the six foot tall fence pickets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an eight foot frame, and then I'm going to turn around and put 12 feet worth of fence pickets on it. That'll hold these just fine. And uh, because I don't have to hold up a thousand pounds, just these full of dirt with a little water in them. So I'm going to get at that. When you're doing this, pre-drilling makes all the difference in the world. Putting it all together in the shop makes life so much simpler. Okay, now I'm going to try and get these legs on. Now, the thing about these, uh, this setup is it has to be level. Because if the, it's not level, some plants will get moisture when others won't because I bottom water. So this has to be good and level. But I'll go ahead and put these on as temporary and get it standing up because I'm doing it solo. Uh, I'll do that right quick and then get it standing up. And then I'll adjust the level.
Now, who would have thought my basement floor is not level? Well, I would have thought it, but uh, I'll go ahead and get the level, and then we'll see where we go from here. I'm shocked. It came out pretty level. I can put just a little bit under the feet and uh, level it easy. So I'll go ahead and put in a couple more screws to those legs so that they'll hold good. level now what I've got I've got uh, these six foot long uh, boards this is an eight foot frame and I've got six foot long uh, fence planks so all I'm going to do that has to go that way some will go in and they will only have a couple of screws in them there won't be many screws in them at all and they'll go all the way to the wall go all the way to the wall that'll just give it a little more stability now what I need to make sure of is that this is wide enough to hold that successfully and if you look it's almost perfect so I've got these planks I've got to get them screwed down and I'm not going to screw them down a lot I'm going to put two screws in each plank that's all and then I've got three more planks to go out that way I'll get that done and I'll come back to you we've got a work surface it's a uh, level front to back and level got it upside down it's level front to back it's level end to end now i might have to tweak this a little bit when i get in here and get these trays full of water okay i might have to raise an end just a little bit so that everybody in the tray gets water evenly because i bottom water and i'll explain to you that when i get to it but we've got the, our bench made and then uh, I'm going to be uploading video tomorrow. This is Saturday. So I'll be uploading this video tomorrow. Uh, and then you'll get to see the video where we do the paper towel germination. But I've still got to hang the lights. So I'll show you how we do the lights for the plants. And uh, if you like this kind of thing, be certain to come on out to our, our uh, page and like us and share uh, we do this kind of homestead stuff all the time and this year we're going to upload every week what we're doing for that week so that you can garden right along with us here in zone six okay it's time for me to get on to the next thing